I'm Robin Bensley, and I like small places. This is Vilcabamba, Ecuador. It's a tiny village, maybe 2,000 people live here, and it's in southern Ecuador. It's actually in the least visited area of this country, and I think I've found a gem. It has a distinct personality of its own. It, it sits at the confluence of five river valleys. It's just a spectacular area, and uh, we're going to show you a little bit more of it. An hour's flight from Quito, followed by an hour and a half's roller coaster ride through the foothills of the Andes, puts you in this remote mountain village where they say spring is eternal. There's a neat town square. A handful of restaurants and bars and hotels and an internet cafe. What more do you need? Vilcabamba is home to a mix of hard-working Ecuadorians, those who come to relax in their second homes, artists and craftsmen and a sprinkling of expats and hippies. And there's also lots of horses. and donkeys, and endless lush green views. Vilcabamba's claim to fame is its location in what is known as the Valley of Longevity. Scientists from all around the world have come here to figure out why so many live past 100. Once they came to meet a man who claimed he was 138. They couldn't document it, so I'm thinking maybe it was just an old bowling scorecard. Some locals say it's the mineral-rich waters that flow from the mountain rivers. Some say it's a diet of donkey meat. Some say it's the good local sugarcane rum, sex, and cigarettes. I say it's the unhurried pace of life, the unpretentious atmosphere that hasn't yet been invaded by superstores or superstars, and it's the abundance of great natural resources that's in this village.
It's the gathering mostly of friends and neighbors sharing simple food, great drink, and lots of laughter. 